Choose a link to find out how the use of EBVs is helping to improve the genetic quality of a selection of major breeds and production systems within Australia. Bob Freer, technical consultant to the Australian Hereford and Pole Hereford Societies, credits the use of Breed Plan as having contributed to significant advances for Herefords in Australia and further afield. I believe Breed Plan has, has been fundamental uh, in allowing the Hereford breed to adapt to changing market the changing market environment in the last decade or so. Yes, the Hereford breed uh, always pride themselves in having the largest gene pool in the beef industry in Australia, but from my perspective, that gene pool wasn't much help to anybody unless we could define and describe the, the actual genes. Uh, I've long held the view that there's no such thing as the best bull. It's the best bull for the, for the particular purpose that you have in mind. And breed plans allowed the Hereford breed to identify the performance profile of bulls uh, and allowed us to develop the breed to where we are today. Breed plan and EBVs are now being used around the world within the Hereford breed. The World Hereford Conference that was held in Australia recently, uh, the, one of the keynote addresses was the genetic linkage program that had been established in Australia and, the, and North America. Uh, where we had reciprocal matings of link size to establish good genetic links between those countries. Uh, we're now progressing that program to a, a complete global evaluation of the Hereford breed, uh, bringing in South America, uh, UK, Europe and South, South Africa into the Australian and New Zealand network as well. I guess we're fortunate uh, in that all the major uh, Hereford populations in the world use breed plant technology, so that makes it easy number one, but I guess that uh, it's a fair endorsement of, of breed plan that, that we've been able to, uh, to use breed plan technology around the world and uh, each of those countries think it's the, uh, it's the way to go. The fact that producers around the world are using breed plan means that it will be easier to compare Australian Herefords directly to those from overseas herds. The genetic linkage program will be used to line up the bases for the different countries. At present, each country uses a different base, hence the EBVs cannot be directly compared across countries. One of the very obvious uh, features of the linkage project that, that we've completed so far was that the Australian size were equal to or better than North American size for the traits that were recorded. So uh, the colonial cringe that we have to go offshore to find our genetics uh, has been disproven already. Uh, we have uh, genetics here that are equal to the best anywhere. But I was also recognised at the conference that uh, all of the Hereford populations will benefit by trading genetics when they're identified on a common base line. So uh, the fact that uh, our, the Hereford breed in Australia is basically pasture, uh, pasture red is attractive to the South American Hereford producers and uh, I, see, I see the Hereford breed in Australia uh, benefiting by global evaluation. The use of dollar indexes within the Hereford breed has also taken off since they became available. They've only been out for a short while and they've already made a bigger impact, I believe, at this point in time than the EBVs did when they first come onto the market. Uh, obviously people are still going through the, the learning phase, but the commercial breeders have adopted them excellently, I believe. Uh, it certainly takes out a lot of the hard work of uh, trying to balance 17 plus EBVs when you're looking at a bull, uh, we're now getting requests from breeders out in the pastoral zone to develop a, breed, a specific EBV for their needs out there. So uh, you know, they're, they're serious cattlemen. Uh, they'd be running three to 5,000 cows per unit out there and uh, they're seeing EBVs as a very useful mechanism for selecting bulls.